Hi, second grade. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the poetry books that we are going to be creating over the next few weeks. We're going to keep learning about different things that poets do to write good poems, and we're going to learn about some different kinds of poems throughout the next few weeks. And each time you learn something new, you're going to add to your poetry book. So let's go ahead and get started. As you know, our topic for today is poetry books. So second graders will work on writing poems that tell about a topic or an idea through their poet eyes. They will work to fill their poetry book with all kinds of poems. We're not gonna do this all in one week or all in one day. We're gonna keep slowly working on it and spread it out over the next few weeks. So some materials you will need for your poetry book. If you want, Mrs. Bishop will be sharing pages with you each week to add to your poetry book. This week I shared a cover page that says my poetry book. I'm also sharing your big feelings page that you're going to use to write poems and your big feelings poem page. You can print those pages, but you don't have to. You can also make your own pages. Maybe you have some fun colored paper that you want to write your poems on. Maybe you want to make a really cool cover for your poetry book or put it in a binder at home and use your own pages. To write your poems, you can make them look beautiful and creative and colorful with any tools you want. So really second grade, you have a lot of freedom, but I encourage you to put all of your poetry work into at least one booklet, one folder, one binder, so that way you can look back and see all the poems that you're gonna write over the next few weeks. So our poetry books will grow. Each week you will be learning more about poetry and what poems you can write. You will just keep adding pages to your poetry book until we are done. So remember yesterday or whenever you watched our last Big Feelings and Line Breaks assignment, you filled out your Big Feelings page. So this is a tool that you can use for all the poems that you're going to be writing over the course of this poetry unit. So always remember to hang on to this page and come back to it. Don't just do it once and throw it away. Remember, as you work on writing poetry for your poetry book, to look at the world through a poet's eyes, choose a topic that gives big feelings, and use line breaks. We're going to learn more things that we must do to make our poetry wonderful and creative, and we will be adding to this chart. So today, your activity is to choose a topic that gives you a big feeling. So something from your big feelings page and see if you can write four different poems for your big feelings poem that can go into your poetry book. So just a reminder, I wrote this big feeling poem with our last lesson on the beach. And I didn't give it a title before, but I did now because it's important that poems have a title. And I titled this poem, Sandy Days. Salty breeze, sticky sand, warm glow, calming crash. I could stay here forever. And remember, I looked at things through a poet's eyes. I thought about the beach and what it smells like, looks like, feels like, tastes like, sounds like. Okay, I chose a topic that gave me a big feeling, the ocean, the sea, and I used line breaks to give my poem um, a little bit more creativity and make it more powerful for the reader. So your job today is to try and see if you can write four big feeling poems of your own, just like my one Sandy Days poem that I wrote. You will have new poems to add each week to your poetry book, so make sure you're hanging on to all of those and putting them in one place. And as always, share your hard work on Seesaw. I can't wait to see what your poetry books look like in the end.